Welcome back to another insightful tutorial. I'm AI Economist, and today we're diving into an exciting topic for those of you passionate about AI digital modeling and realism. If you've been following my channel or have purchased my Ultimate Guide to AI Digital Model on Stable Diffusion, Comfy UI for Beginners, chances are you're already working with your own AI model or in the process of creating one. However, one common challenge many of you might be facing is perfecting facial expressions. We all know how tricky it can be to achieve natural-looking facial expressions using an IP adapter or relying solely on text prompts. Not only can it be difficult to get the desired result, but you might also find yourself losing the consistent facial features of your AI digital model in the process. That's why today's tutorial is all about solving this struggle once and for all. We'll be exploring Comfy UI Advanced Live Portrait, a powerful tool that not only addresses these facial expression challenges, but is also remarkably user-friendly. So, if you're ready to take your AI models to the next level with lifelike expressions, let's jump right in and discover how Comfy UI Advanced Live Portrait can transform your workflow. Before we start, I just want to say a massive thanks for all the awesome messages about my first course. Now here's the deal. Whether you're just starting out or you've been at this for a while, this course is packed with practical stuff to help you create your very own AI digital model for Instagram or TikTok. You get lifetime access to over 5 hours of content, and I'm always updating it. The best part? It's only $42. So if you're interested, check out the course info below. And hey! Thanks for being awesome and supporting the channel. To begin using Advanced Live Portrait, we first need to input an image. For this demonstration, I'll be using Alara, the AI digital model associated with this channel. To better visualize the changes in our character's facial expressions, I've enlarged both the input and output images. Within the Expression Editor PHM, You'll notice a list of parameters, each with its own value that we can adjust. It's worth noting that when you run the workflow with all values set to zero, you'll get facial expressions identical to your source image. This serves as our starting point. In the Expression Editor PHM, we have various parameters to control facial expressions. Let's explore them one by one. Rotate pitch tilts the face vertically. Positive values make it look down, negative values lift it up. Rotate yaw turns the face horizontally, positive to the left, negative to the right. Rotate roll adjusts head position, positive tilts left, negative tilts right. The blink parameter widens eyes with positive values and closes them with negative values. Eyebrows rise with positive values and lower with negative ones. The wink parameter, only taking positive values, makes the character wink. Pupil X and Y control eye direction. The AH parameter opens the mouth with positive values and closes it with negative ones. E widens the mouth when positive and narrows it when negative. The Wu expression creates a duck face-like look with positive values. Smile parameter, as you'd expect, makes your character smile when positive. Source Ratio and Sample Ratio control input image weights, which we'll explore later. The crop factor adjusts face cropping. Higher values show more of the surroundings, while lower values zoom in on the face. By adjusting and combining different parameters, we can fine-tune our character's facial expressions.
For a more interactive experience, enable the extra options below the Q prompt button and check Auto Q. Then, click once on the Q prompt button. This allows you to monitor changes live as you adjust parameters, helping you achieve the desired output more efficiently. One of the powerful features of this tool is consistency. When you load a new image while keeping the same parameters, you'll get identical facial expressions from one image to another. This is particularly useful when working with multiple images of the same character. We can take our facial expressions a step further by using a sample image. This feature allows us to extract facial expressions and head positions from one image and apply them to our source image. It's important to note that this won't produce an exact replica of the sample image's expression. You may need to fine-tune some parameters to get a closer match. To control the impact of the sample image, you can adjust the sample ratio. Lowering this value will reduce the influence of the sample image on your output. Additionally, the Sample Parts parameter gives you the option to copy only the facial expressions without including head movements and rotations. With these tools and techniques, you can now create a wide range of facial expressions for your AI digital model. The process is intuitive and offers great flexibility, allowing you to bring your characters to life with nuanced and realistic expressions. After successfully installing Insight Face, we're ready to set up Advanced Live Portrait. Start by visiting the GitHub page and copying the repository link. Next. Navigate to your Comfy UI main folder, then enter the Custom Nodes folder. In the address bar, type CMD to open a command prompt. In the command prompt, type git clone, followed by the repository link you copied, then press Enter. This clones the repository to your system. Now, we need to install the required dependencies. Go back to the Comfy UI main folder and open a command prompt there. Activate the virtual environment. Then, navigate to the Advanced Live Portrait custom node folder and copy its path. Return to the command prompt and type pip install-r. Paste the path you just copied and add backslash requirements.txt at the end. This installs all necessary requirements. Ensure everything installs without errors. Once installation is complete, close the Comfy UI terminal if it's open, then restart Comfy UI. In the custom node folder, you'll find a sample folder containing essential resources and workflows for your projects. With these steps completed, you're all set to start using advanced live portrait in Comfy UI, opening up new possibilities for creating expressive AI digital models. If you're eager to dive deeper into the world of AI digital modeling, I encourage you to check out my previous videos. They cover the fundamentals of creating AI digital models and provide valuable insights to help you on your journey. For those of you looking for a comprehensive resource that brings together everything you need in one place, I've put together a course available at pixelailabs.com. Thank you for joining me in this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Until the next time.